it's dark because it's getting dark and I look crazy because I look crazy anyways hey guys my name is Chanel with you three here on YouTube when I am real life and welcome or welcome back to my channel um as you can see I'm in the car right now I'm traveling I am in Nashville I want to say um I'm going from St. Louis area to um Montgomery Alabama because I have a class this week um for work so if you guys aren't aware I am an active duty Air Force paralegal and um, the class I'm going to is really just it's called like a military justice class so anyway um, it is an eight-hour drive from Illinois slash st. Louis down to Montgomery Alabama it's only eight hours um, so it's not too terrible I am about halfway I have four hours left at six o'clock right now and I'm supposed to get there at around ten um, and then yeah, I just literally just left because last night we watched um, Shakur Stevenson fight and I wasn't really drinking drinking. I was drinking like a little mixer, 1800 margarita mixer thing. Um, so I wasn't really drinking drinking, but I did not want to get on this roll. <laughs> I don't even like going to Alabama. Like, so I look crazy because um, when I got up, I was just kind of like moving around and I did feel a little, a little headachey. <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah I was like I'm literally just about to get in the car how I am right now I'm gonna you know brush my teeth wash my face and I'll leave around two and that's what I ended up doing we had a really good Easter um, weekend though my god kids came from Chicago and we took everybody to base um, because the base was having like Easter egg hunt thing for the kids so we did that um, and then this morning I got their little Easter baskets and gave them to them and then we um, did a little egg hunt at the house in the front and backyard for the kids and then I left around 2. We made pizza and I left at 2. Um, I wanted to leave closer to 12 because I don't really like driving in the dark <laughs> and if I left at 12 I would have gotten here around 8 when the sun was like setting setting for real um, or already set just setting. Um, but now I'm going to be driving in the dark for about an hour and a half to two hours. So it is what it is. But um, but yeah, so I was watching Sunny. So I watched Sunny. Um, I, I needed to catch up on two of her vlogs and then her little skincare routine. Not her little skincare routine, but two vlogs and her skincare routine. Um, and now I'm watching Aaliyah's, um, that little trip that she took to the, to the Vale, to Colorado. I think it's in Colorado. Um... But yeah, I'm watching that now. I like have it on on the bottom of my GPS little thing right here. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so I have two and a half hours freaking left. I have 180 miles. I took about 20, 25 minutes off. It was at 10 p.m. for my arrival. When I left the house, it was at 10.25. So it's at 10 p.m. but when I pulled into Bucky's it stopped to 10 06 um so I did take some time off hopefully this stop doesn't take like a whole bunch of time off I'm gonna get gas because I have a quarter and a half and I just want to go straight there um on this last little stop and it's a Bucky's like what oh my god why did my whole microphone fall off very ghetto so anyway yeah I'm about to go in here because I had to pee anyway had a Bucky's I don't know where I'm at I'm either at the bottom of Tennessee or at the top of Alabama I don't know which state I'm in though <laughs> um so I guess we'll find out but yeah I'm about to go in this Bucky's use the bathroom really quick um because I have to go and then I'm gonna get gas really quick I'm gonna hop back on the road because I want to get there at 10 um so I want to take these minutes that I'm adding up right now and take them back off but it is getting dark so I know I'm gonna drive a little bit slower um because I don't really like driving in the dark like that so I'm probably gonna try to stick around other cars and stuff like that um but yeah I'm trying to get there boy we almost there we're almost there I'm 
Fuck you, that don't mean I trust you, I don't You got some hot hoes Okay, so I just went to the bathroom, but yeah, basically that's what Bucky's is. It's pretty much like this big ass, just this big ass, well lit fucking gas station. <laughs> um, it's freaking huge. Um, but yeah, so I was happy to see the sign, but the sign was like 12 min 12 miles out was the first time I saw a sign. And I was on that highway for at least like 100 miles before that. So I don't know why the sign came up so late, but um, it was like 12 miles, uh, Bucky's in 12 miles, and then I took the exit or whatever and stopped. Now it's dork. <laughs> um, I'm just getting gas though. And I had actually, as soon as I hit the exit, um, I had just finished Aaliyah Face's video, but I'm feeling a little bit tired, but I don't want to drink an energy drink because I don't want to be up late tonight i just want to like shower and get into bed and try to fall asleep um so oh my gosh just stopped um oh and why i stopped at this little thing over there and this violent ass fucking dog was barking i was like you got me fucked up so i i drove all the way around <laughs> um and i picked a different pump but yeah so i had just finished Leah faces video um and now I'm think I'm gonna listen to some music because i'm getting a little bit tired so i got myself some gum water and some beef jerky um so so I can do this last little bit uh, and get there because I'm a little bit tired of driving. I feel kind of like agitated and irritated. I don't know if it's like the energy drink maybe either peaking or coming down that I had a few hours ago or if I'm just like getting cold or what. But I'm feeling like jittery a little bit and like low key irritated. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm probably just tired from driving honestly I'm just like my body is feeling the driving and all the boo -boo -boo. so I'm about to get back on the road I'm about to get on the road and I'll see you guys when I get there all right so I finally made it to my room <laughs> it was crazy because um I had never been in this building before this building is next door to the building that I stayed in when I was here for three months and so I didn't know where the hell like the front of the building was so I just went into a door I had to go up two flights of stairs till I finally found the elevator and I was like no I need to look inside the elevator and find my damn room finally found it so I'm in here now this room I want to say is it feels a little bit smaller but that might be because of the way that it's set up but I think it's the same size as the room in the other building we had. Only difference is this room is more of like a suite. So um, there's a front door right here. And this is on base, by the way, on Maxwell Air Force Base. It's a front door. Let me lock it and let me put the do not disturb because I don't want nobody up in here. I don't want him them in here all week. All right. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, um, all right. So, boom. There's a front door and then there's a little kitchenette. It doesn't have an oven, um, which was the same thing with the other one. This one, I want to say, has more cabinets. I don't remember having these cabinets in the other building. Um, I think it was just like open like this. And then you have your small little refrigerator. Of course, there's nothing in it. Um, there's a Domino's on base for them to deliver you food and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they got a little ice tray or whatever. But it's like a little thing. And then um, there's a little two-piece stove and a microwave and that's pretty much all you get um the other kitchen was a lot bigger than this i want to say it was the other room was bigger but it was literally just a room it wasn't a sweet type room like this um but yeah so they give you stuff like cutting boards um utensils it should be yeah a little dry rack down here and other stuff you know that you need for a kitchen um yeah, and then there's like this little thing so you can make coffee, hot water, whatever. Um, and that, I want to say there should be pots and pans. Yeah, there's pots, a couple pots, pans, bowls, and stuff like that in there. And then you got your, your microwave. Um, yeah, the last the last room I had was bigger because this space is a lot smaller. Anyway, um, so then I have, let me cut some light. I have like a little, got bar stools over here two bar stools there's a little couch where my stuff is that I carried and was in pain a little light with the ceiling fan um, there's a TV out here I don't think this couch turns into anything it might turn into I don't think it turns into a bed it might I don't know it doesn't look like it does it might I'll find out tomorrow <laughs> um, and I'll let you guys know but there's a TV out here um, a little dresser piece little desk space 
and then a window and my car is parked literally the only car is parked but it's parked over there um boy while i was driving i was like damn i wish i would have flew <laughs> um because it's only a week like why would i why would i drive anyway so boom got the bedroom this room is definitely smaller another tv over here another window so i can pick out at my car full-size mirror Mm -hmm. um, queen size bed, little nightstand, closet. The closet is smaller too. Little closet and little bathroom. And that is it. Now, I will say though, this room is cleaner. <laughs> But it is a little bit smaller, but it doesn't matter. Like, I'm literally only here for a short time. Um, so, it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm about to shower. I'm about to get in the bed. And y'all would not believe me. I left my uniform pants. <laughs> I was putting my top together, and I was taking everything off of my top. Um, and putting it on my new top. And getting everything sorted. And... I left my pants on the hanger so I'm gonna wear um, regular civilian clothes tomorrow for the first day and then at lunch I'll probably just run and go grab me some pants I was saying I don't have enough civilian clothes like regular like decent clothes to wear throughout the week so I have to get uniform pants so that I can wear my uniform um, but yeah so I will see you guys in the morning I'm about to shower and lay it down lay it down lay it down good morning <laughs> It is 7.23 and I want to leave my room by 7.40. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that, girl, but <laughs> I'm about to do it. Um, and on top of that, I'm wearing civilian clothes because I don't have any pants. So um, I have to do my ponytail. Hopefully this doesn't take me a long time. It feels really moisturized. Um, I'm just kind of a little bit worried about like flakes and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and get this started. I'm going to start like brushing my teeth and everything. Let's get ready. Oh, and I failed to mention, yeah, I didn't bring, um, I didn't bring another, I didn't bring my charger for my, my camera battery or my extra battery. So here we are. Looking stupid. There's this tag in these jeans that's always messing with me. And I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I literally just cut the only tag in this pants off. So I'm gonna pop out here at night, ragging on that nigga top. You better hold his head tight. Anyway, life's great. Life is still good. They do, they still eat. Alright. A little bit of evil eye protection, a little bit of mental protection. Cause there's some funny people in this career field. Little Apple Watch. Cardigan. Slip that sexy thighs on me. Oh, yeah, you see me. You see me. Yeah, I look good. Put some lotion on my little big ankles. That's what showing. Cause I brought bands. But you know, bands are always classy. You know? It's a classy look. Put a little bit of lotion down here. Hopefully it's not cold outside. It's freezing to hell in these rooms. I guess she told me last night that the heater wasn't working and so it's only AC. It's like 62 degrees inside here. So, Shiver City. Alright, I'm done. I wanted to pull my little weekly tarot cards or whatever, but I don't have time because it's already 45. I'm just going to try to put some on my eyebrows real quick. 
Got my head out. Made it out. It's like 7.50 right now. But I don't see nobody walking over towards the school. I see one girl in her uniform walking over there. Sorry, it's loud right here. And why did I park on the far side of the damn building? So I'm about to just, because I'm already walking to my truck to get my CAC, I'm going to just drive over there, the foot, and then I'm going to walk to the building. Um, but yeah, I don't see nobody walking. Like, either they all hella, hella early, or they don't plan on coming until five minutes till leaving that building. So we don't find out. Oh my God, where's my CAC? It's not in here where it should be with the young gentleman god damn it Shoot. well i don't know at what point i stopped recording but anyway my phone is not i mean my cac my common access card to log into like my computer and stuff it's not in here so whoopsie i don't know where the fuck <laughs> like i don't know what i'm gonna do because i i'm not i don't have time to find it right now um and they're supposed to be yeah 40 people in this class and I don't see nobody walking over there. So they must all be really, really fucking early. Maybe they got there at 7.30, who knows? Y'all, I was the last person in the classroom this morning. <laughs> um, and I was the only one in civilian clothes. Um, well, I wasn't the only one. It was me and another guy in civilian clothes. It just so happened that it was the guy next to me that I just went to lunch with. But um, it was just me and him in civilian clothes. He lost his bag. And then I'm in the in the um in a thing in the elevator with a captain just now. And he's like, You was missing a bag too? I was like, No, sir, I actually just left my pants at home. <laughs> but he missing a bag too. I guess like a few people have just been missing their bags with their stuff in it. So thankfully I was the only person, you know. I had homeboy next to me that didn't have his uniform on, but it still was kind of embarrassing. Like, come on now, why would I leave my pants at the house? So now I'm rushing because I don't want to be late again after lunch. Um, so I'm rushing to get my stuff on so I can rush my car, grab my bag. I'm gonna just tie my boots in the goddamn um, uh, in the elevator, cause uh, I'm gonna time be playing around with this BS. Y'all, a mess, a mess I tell you. And did I mention that these cold, these rooms was cold as hell? Yeah, probably not. These rooms are freezing. I got no damn heater. And here I am, struggle nation. Anyways, I'm gonna tie my boots on the elevator. All right, you guys, I'm back. Class is over. It's like 4.30 right now. We had like a little mandatory social thing that we had to do. Why was my camera zoomed in? That we had to do. Um, oh, and this thing falling, child. I don't know why my mic, like it won't screw on any tighter, but it also keeps falling off. So that's very ghetto. Um, but yeah, so we have a, um, we had a little mandatory social. These goddamn windows will not stay open. Um, so class is over. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Um, and yeah, so I went earlier. I had to run to go get my pants. These pants, y'all. These pants right here. Yeah, these things fifty dollars. Yeah, they're fifty one dollars. So that's unfortunate. But um, other than that, you know, I made friends and stuff. <laughs> um, I made. So I'm very new to this career field as a paralegal. Um, so I don't really know anybody like that. But I did meet two people where really I met three people um but yeah so I'm gonna go to the BX a little bit later because he didn't he doesn't have like a rental car or anything like that so I'm gonna take him to the um the base exchange which is like our little store or whatever to find stuff um and I'm just gonna buy stuff to make myself feel better for this morning <laughs> um also I don't have a extra battery I don't know how long this battery is going to last. I want to say when I put it in, I did like a little bit of like touch and go vlogging. So it should be a full battery and should last me uh, some time, but I don't have a battery. So I might go out and maybe there's like a Best Buy or something I can go to. Maybe I can find something because um, I highly doubt that the BX is going to have anything. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the first day. Shadow was crazy. Um, thank goodness I only have a few more days but the class I wasn't as nervous so 
I was a little bit nervous, right? Because like I said, I'm new to the career field. Um, I'm going to, I'm in an office where um, it's kind of like an overseeing office. It's an office that like reviews stuff and things like that for um, a bunch of offices below you. And because, um, no, hold on, it sounds like somebody is knocking on a goddamn door. Okay, what well, a door broke. Uh, anyway, um, an office that like reviews stuff for lower level offices. And right now I have um, 12 lower level offices, really eight, but really 12, um, that I kind of like review all of their stuff for. So it, anyway, the point is, is that it's a little bit nerve wracking for me because I kind of feel like at times, like I don't really know my job like that um, because I'm still learning the career field for one. Like this is something totally different. I was doing comm work before, um, working on co servers and computers and shit like that. Um, so for one, it's different for me in that aspect, but also it's different because um, going to that level in office, of an office is kind of something that you do later on in your career. But because of our having to move situation and go to another base from the one we were at because we were there for so long, um, because of that situation, we ended up being, you know, you know what it is. Y'all. I swear it sounds like somebody is knocking on the door. Uh, and the crazy thing is, is that when we was coming up the elevator, um, and I had came into the door and then the guy came in right behind me and got on the elevator. And like the elevator went to like close and then it opened back up like somebody just walked in. Uh, and we were just joking about like being a fucking ghost and shit. And here we are and my fucking, sounds like the, somebody's knocking on the damn door. Anyway, um, but yes, yeah, so. I'm out to the only plans that I have while I'm here this week because like I said I think I mentioned to you guys that I'm leaving on Friday literally on um, Friday right after class so should be around 11:30 noon that I leave and head back on the road so for my long eight-hour drive oh the only plans that I have for while I'm here is to visit the um, it's I call it a crystal shop it's the mystical shop but the only plans I have is to visit the one that I found. I actually really liked it. They had a lot of good stuff in there. Um, they had like a bunch of like little tumble stone crystals. They have candles and stuff. Um, a bunch of incense. Books. All kinds of stuff. For like spirituality stuff. Um, anything that you're into they have it. So, um, so yeah. Um, I planned to go there. But that was the only plans that I had while I was here this week. Um... Cause I don't, I just don't have anything else. Like I'm literally here in class all day and then I have the afternoons. Um, so yeah, we gonna see what happens. Supposedly they be like hanging out and stuff and going out for drinks and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that on a weekday. Like that's, that's, that's giving alcoholic. Boom. All right y'all, so it is Tuesday. I just got out of class, it's like four. 440 right now um so my initial plans was literally just to um sorry my camera stopped recording but my initial plans were literally just to change my clothes um and then i was going to go to the bx i was going to put on like some workout clothes i was going to head to the bx i was going to pick me up some pre-workout and maybe some protein and a little shaker bottle or something like that and then i was going to find me something to eat and then um go to the gym but you know my new friends <laughs> Um, no, one of the girls that I met here, though, in class, she was like, let's go to this little hibachi thing. And I was like, girl, I had plans because I was going to come back to the room after I went to the gym and I was going to, um, oh, I needed to edit. I need to edit real bad. And, um, I wanted to watch Aaliyah's face video. And then my husband been watching, um, what's that show called? He been watching Your Honor Without Me and, um, part two to davis garcia's um little little thing is up i can't even think of what it's called right now um oh 444 
444. I saw 444 earlier today too. Y'all, these angel numbers been hitting me like crazy. Um, as of late. But the all access for the Davis and Garcia fight, that also is out. So I was literally, cause I knocked out yesterday. I was watching Aaliyah's vlog for um, the one that she went to the Maldives with her, her mom and her aunt. I was watching that one, Cha I knocked out with like 10 minutes in. And it was like 9.30. Um, so I wanted to kind of, I knew that I would, if I did go to the gym, I would take pre-workout before and I, I would probably, um, be up a little bit into the night as opposed to like falling straight asleep again, but I don't know. Anyway, so right now I'm just going to probably change my clothes and go to the BX anyway, cause she wasn't trying to eat till later, like around seven. So I still have time to go to BX. It's like 4.30 and I can at least go. I don't know, look around, find that stuff, and then I head back this way. Look at this dark shot on my chin. Oh, and look at my forehead. I don't break out, and my forehead is like broken out. So I was gonna see if I can get like a face mask or something like that. And I also kind of wanted to see if I could find a little Sephora or something like that. Um, Cause I've been trying to find those topical eye patches and I cannot find them. So I wanted to see if maybe a Sephora over here had them. Cause the Sephora near where I live, they don't got them things. Um, they don't even sell Dermalogica in there. Something about, since it's not a freestanding Sephora, they don't, child, I don't know. But yeah, so I might still have time to do something. I don't know, but y'all see what I'm doing here in the next few minutes after I change my clothes. Okay, so I just changed my clothes. Yeah. I have one um just like this long sleeve old ass black uh black old navy shirt. This shit is old as hell. I had this literally for probably 10 years. I don't know how the fabric's not worn out, but this is an old ass shirt. Um and then I have on these these swishy like green pants. They're like long and wide leg that I got from uh Miss Lola. They're really cute when I seen them. But the only thing is, is that they are really long. They're meant to be long, but they're like too long. And I have on elevated bands. Like I have on platform bands and they're still too long. Um, but I'm wearing them because it's pretty much the only thing I have. Since I wore my other set of decent dinner clothes um, on the first day. Because I left my uniform pants. So these are high waisted, but it like, it's not a comfortable high waist. It's an uncomfortable high waist. So I just rolled them down or whatever. It's only 512 technically I have almost two hours so I might go to the crystal shop um, also I'm not taking my camera nobody in the Air Force except for maybe like two three people know that I have a YouTube channel um, and I want to keep it that way I don't want people to know because I don't want people in my business I don't want them telling people who I don't want in my business whether I like them or not <laughs> um, I just don't want everybody in my business like that so I keep this on a hush when it comes to like personal people friends and stuff like that and anybody in the air force don't nobody know about this and they don't need to know um as long as i ain't doing nothing that discredits the air force we cool so yeah um i don't i don't tell them so none of my air force friends really know <laughs> um but yeah so i'm gonna be recording on my phone but i'm about to go I don't know. Let's go. Let's stop talking about going and let's actually go. Oh, I didn't bring my camera, but this is the. <laughs> I know this look crazy as hell, but this is the place where I um where I, that I found for like a little crystals and incense and stuff like that. It's called Mystical Emporium something something something. Um, but this is the place. Uh huh. And it do be people in here because I know I came in here one time and I was not the only person in here. They were doing like a workshop one time that I came through. So there do be other people up in here. But, um, and then look, there's a, a goddamn room to grow child care center across the way. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, it do. I met an old black lady up in here one time. Uh, and she was telling me about like using the rinses and the, the soaps and stuff to rinse everything off of you. Anyway, I'm about to go in here. do Reiki classes here or Reiki
Hey. What's the dragon's blood one specific to? Dragon's blood is a recipe that's used for cleansing, for exorcism, because it enhances the energy of anything that's combined. So mixing white sage and dragon's blood, or blue sage and dragon's blood, or white sage, blue sage and dragon's blood, uh, is a very effective way to cleanse negative energy. Thanks. That's the shop. Um, I wasn't trying to scare y'all nothing, but that's the shop that I found when I was just looking like for like a little crystal shop or whatever. Um, I know it, it kind of like gets into like Wicca and all kinds of other stuff. Um, but as you saw, like there's like some African spirituality stuff in there. Like they had candles for, um, you know, anyway. So basically I just got Florida water. Last time I got Florida water, it was like a homemade type of Florida water. It was called Mama Mitzi's Florida water. Um, this Florida water is the kind that you can get from like almost anywhere. And then I got also just like some regular incense that you can kind of get from anywhere. But, um, yeah, this is the Florida water that you'll see on, um, like different type of mystical shops and stuff like that. So like house of intuition, where I also buy some of like my crystals and stuff and incense and, um, candles, specifically my candles. Um, they also, I believe sell this water. So, um, and then yeah it just it's just a little shop so it can be a little bit scary but it's literally just like a little shop um i did get some crystals from there before incense obviously they had florida water soap but they didn't have any this time they had all the other soaps that i showed you guys um and then yeah the guy that i think i don't know if he owns this or if he just like is the manager or something but he's you know really nice regular guy um but last time i came he was doing like a um a chakra healing class and there were like girls and he was like while you guys are in here in here would you like a free because it was like me and a few other people in there um and that older black lady and they were like would you like you know a free a free chakra resetting or something like that and so they just kind of were like pushing the energies or whatever but um yeah i know it look kind of little right now a little crazy and it's literally a house but it's not that scary literally you get what you need and that's it so i'm about to head back to base now because i'm about to try to go to the bx real quick and yeah they rekindled whatever little whatever they had from tech uh -huh. and pcc and both of them are married and All right, y'all, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm about to go to the gym, so this is what I look like. I got on, like, leggings and stuff. I got on, oh, not, no, focus, child. Focus, focus, focus. Hold on. Okay, let's try this focus again. Bow. Okay, so I just got on my little um, St. Louis Zoo shirt that I got, and then I got on my Gymshark leggings. I need to buy some more leggings, but you know, we got booty out here. You see that booty? You see that booty twerking? Anyway, um, and then I got on some shoes that I had bought from the, the, the BX one time because I had left my shoes and I wanted to go to the gym and I didn't have no PT shoes because oh y'all couldn't see nothing anyway I got my shoes on because I was going to the gym one time after work and I didn't have no shoes and I was like bitch what the fuck why wouldn't you bring your shoes so I had to go run to the BX to buy me some shoes and I threw all of my like workout type shoes away when we moved because they was all old anyway and I was like yeah I'm gonna give you a new pair but I couldn't find a pair that I liked with the BX so I ended up having to get these little joints right here they're not very cute at all but 
is what I'm working with. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go to the gym. But unfortunately, I'm not going to vlog a lot tonight because when I get back, I'm going to do some homework. Oh, let me tell y'all. So I go to um, like a little community college i don't know it's called um american military university i think it's a community college i'm 100 positive community college anyway so um i go to american military university online to get my bachelor's degree right and i'm like how many classes i got i probably got like three or four more classes left i have been turning in forum posts late like we had a midterm exam and I started in late for one. I was trying hard, but the questions was like, they don't be relating to the classwork. And then um, I skipped over one question on purpose. Like I was like, fuck it, I'm turning this shit in because I don't know what she's asking me to do right now. Like this ain't got nothing to do with what we've been learning. I still got an A. She went through the, 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 the uh, What's that thing called? The 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 rubric? Everything. <laughs> and I was like, this makes me feel shit like this. Make me feel like what's the point in getting my degree? Is it worth anything? Are other people gonna think that it ain't worth nothing? Who knows? But I'ma just keep going and I'ma just finish getting this degree. <laughs> Regardless, I'ma keep getting these A's. <laughs> um, but no for real that shit was crazy to me so um i'm gonna come back i'm gonna do some forum posts so that i can get them turned in on time this time because maybe she's like because i did have to email her i was like i'm like trying to explain to her why i was turning in some stuff late making like a little excuse or whatever um maybe she's like giving me grace or maybe my degree just ain't gonna be worth shit after i'm done i don't know child but anyway so yeah i'm gonna turn in the rest of my stuff that motivated me turn the rest of my stuff on time so I'm gonna come back and do that and then I also need to edit videos because I just now we moved last March at the beginning of March and I just now posted on Sunday that move out vlog <laughs> so I still have to do the travel vlog and then I still have to do the move in vlog and then I have a couple of other videos that I just kind of was like filming here and there double double here and there um that I also need to figure out how I'm gonna edit and post that way that the footage is not just wasted um but yes yeah, so i don't know i'm gonna see y'all later though later later after i get back from the from the gym you see that leg yeah that's called a yoga baby do you some yoga stretch I just got out of class at like 4 30 ish um it's 4 45 now i'm about to go into the bx because i want to get some protein powder i know i can get protein powder when i get home but it's just easier to already have it and take it with me um, but I also wanted to just look around. I wanted to get like another perfume, you know, stuff to make me feel better about nothing. Anyways, and there's supposedly a new restaurant in here that's like jerk, like Jamaican, Caribbean. I don't know. So I wanted to go in here and get some food. But this, this BX and this food court, they close at like 6. Because most people don't get out to like 435. So why would you close the BX so early? Anyways, I'm about to go in here and see. Just look around and do something. I don't know. Um, so I'm checking out tomorrow morning for sure um, because you have to check out before 1030 and class is going to run up until probably about noon. So I'm already I've already brought like some stuff that I know I'm not going to use tonight or tomorrow morning uh, downstairs to my car. So I'm just going to be doing that tonight, getting some other stuff, bringing it down so that I don't look crazy like I did when I came in. I had two duffel bags on me, two purses. And a big ass blanket that I was trying to carry all the way up here. And this shit was heavy. My shoulders, I had red marks on my shoulders. So I ain't trying to do that again. So that's why I got, um, it really is just a random fucking dog. And if that motherfucker is still out here when I get out here, I'm gonna be pissed off. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. So I'm about to go in here. <laughs>
Tell me why the food the food court closed at three. Why would you close at three? Anyway, so I went in there. I got some Alani protein powder. I haven't tried their protein powder. I used their pre-workout or in their BCAAs, but excuse me, but I haven't tried their pre their uh, protein. And yeah, I just wanted to try it. So I got some of this. Um, I I'm not gonna lie. I low key was looking for like a fat burner, and I never would have thought that I would see the day that I wanted a fat burner because I've always been so skinny. Like, why would I want a fat burner? But I kind of low key want a fat burner to assist me. But at the same time, I'm not working out like that, and I'm not that consistent either. So to to want a fat burner right now doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, and I've been focusing on like doing yoga a lot lately to kind of tone, um, and because of just my body composition, I probably don't need an actual fat burner, but I also got some perfume. So I got a face mask. This one's from pharmacy. Um, it's a brightening face mask because as you can see, I've been going through it since I got here. So I just needed a face mask. I got some tweezers because I needed tweezers. And then I got um, a couple of perfumes. So I got this Fame perfume. I thought that it smelled really nice. It smelled just kind of different from other scents that I have. So I got that. I got the Billie Eilish number two perfume because it also smelled real good um, and unique. And then I got um, God is a Woman, but the small version from Ariana Grande. Only because, well, first of all, when I picked it up, I didn't know that the big one was out. But when I smelled the big one, it kind of was like one of those things where I needed to sit on me to see how it's actually going to work out for my body. So, those are perfumes I got. Um, oh, and that little dossier perfume that I bought um, of like the Baccarat Rouge little dupe or whatever. That thing almost gone. I don't know how I don't use perfume like that and I feel like I just bought that like a couple months ago and it's already almost gone um so that's why I have bought some perfumes because I just want some new stuff I really need to find like a fresh scent to add to my little my little mix or whatever but whatever so now I'm about to go I'm gonna try to get out this gate before the gate closes but I have to find something to eat first because why is this shit closed so let me see what I can find to eat. Okay, hello, y'all. So, um, I just got my food. I went to this place called El Taco Shop. I looked up Biddy, all right, because at first, I was like, I'm just going to eat something regular. I'm going to just go to, like, Taco Bell. But then I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So, I was thinking about what I could get, and I was looking at restaurants, and, um, like, a Mexican restaurant popped up. And then I remembered, I had remembered that when I was out here for three months for training, um, that me and the gang came to this restaurant called, um, oh, I didn't know what it was called, but we came to this restaurant called El, El Taco Shop for, um, some video tacos and stuff like that. So, um, I was like, let me just look up video tacos and see if it comes up and it did. So that's what I got. And this turned out to be the right place. So I got my food and now we just gonna sit here and we gonna, we gonna chit chat while I eat my food, I guess. Little mukbang or whatever it's called. Um, and then, right, I don't know why, but while I was waiting for my food, I was like, I wonder if there's a Kohl's over here. Cause I wanted to get Michaela some pants, but um, she needs like a regular kid size, but she needs a slim size because she's so skinny and that's the only thing that will fit right on her and I have found some at Kohl's and I, earlier today in class I was actually just looking it up because um, I know she needs leggings but I was just looking it up out of curiosity to see if I could just get some sent to the house um, but they didn't really have um, any sizes online so while I was at the talk at the taco shop <laughs> while I was at El Taco shop that's a restaurant I just looked up to see if there's a Kohl's, a Kohl's nearby, and of course there was. I'm in this area called East Chase, um, and why my eye get caught on the big ass Sephora over there? So I'm also going to Sephora. I don't know what's wrong with me spending all this money, 
But anyway, look, I got my video tacos. Wow, they were good last time we came. And it looked like they expanded the restaurant a little bit. But yeah. Uh, very good. And I got a little consomme. And then they gave me some rice. Some rice. And um, I got an elote. I'm actually about to eat that. I'm going to put these tacos to the side. But I got some food. So I'm literally, I just drove to Kohl's. Because I knew I wasn't going to want to eat in my room. I don't like that. I was going to eat in my car because my car is where I'm comfortable. And where I feel good. So I knew I was going to eat in my car anyway. So I was like, I might as well look up to see if there's a Kohl's nearby to see if I can get her pants. And so now I'm in the parking lot of Kohl's. And you know what's funny? The first time we came here, well, when I came here, um, and they told me, I was like, ain't no way there's like good Mexican restaurants in Montgomery, Alabama. Like, why would Mexicans be in Montgomery, Alabama? <laughs> but they are. More Mexicans here than there are um, out towards St. Louis where we're at right now. Um, so anyway, let's chat. I don't know what I want to talk about. Oh, I got me a little pineapple haritos. Um, oh, but what I was thinking about when I was getting my perfumes. Um, okay, so I got the, the, what the hell I get? I got Billie Eilish number two. I know I got that. And then I got, oh, that Fame perfume. I don't know who that's by. And then I got the Ariana Grande God is a Woman um, little small thing. So on the topic of perfumes. I don't know if I already told y'all, but the, um, the Dossier little dupe of Baccarat Rouge that I got. Yeah. That's already almost gone. Like, I went to pick it up so I could spray a little something on me because, you know, I'm in raggedy clothes, but I still want to smell good. So I picked it up before I left to put some on. And I was like, what the fuck? Why is it already almost gone? Like, literally almost gone. So I'm debating on, like, I literally only have, like, a week left with it. So I'm debating on if I want to, um, if I want to, like, use it up next week for work. Or if I just want to leave it here and throw it in the trash when I'm leaving but for some reason the that Baccarat Rouge scent I know it's not the real one but it just doesn't do anything for me like you ever smell a perfume and you're just like yeah this ain't it like it's and it's popular or something like that and you're just like this just don't sit with me that's how I kind of feel about this one again I know it's not the real one it's like a little dupe version but Aaliyah Aaliyah face said that it was like you couldn't tell the difference so but the scent just doesn't really do anything for me. So I don't think I would actually buy the real one just for that reason. But also, I felt the same way about YSL Libre. And I didn't even smell it before I bought it. <laughs> I just bought it because everybody said like it was a shit, like it was good. So I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. And it's not for me. I never wear it. Like, I have not worn it. I've worn it, like, maybe once since I bought it. But, oh, actually, and I bought it while I was here for three months back in 2021. But I have not worn it since since I bought it, y'all. Um, so, uh, YSL Libre is, it's not that it doesn't smell good. It's just not a scent for me. Based off of how I wear my hair the majority of the time, based off of how I dress, and also just based off of my facial features and how I look. I feel like YSL Libre is a very like grown woman scent, something that I would wear if I had on like heels, pants, and a blazer, like a suit or something like that. That's when I would wear YSL Libre and my hair was straightened. You know what I'm saying? That is a time where I would wear that and I'm very... I've never dressed like that so there's no reason for me to wear it but it just like when I put on my clothes and after I do my hair and my makeup or whatever 
the perfume I feel like has to match the outfit like it has to match the vibe and so far while so Libre just doesn't match my vibe ever like regardless of what I put on it just doesn't match my vibe um but yeah I don't know I feel like it's a very mature scent and maybe a little bit too mature for me and the way that I look I look like a child um <laughs> and dress like literally this um this girl in our in our class we was just chit-chatting because i don't know anybody in this group field except for the people that i came through with um and the people from my first base but well not my first base, but the people from the last base i was at but she was like um oh you have kids it's like yeah i have two kids a nine-year-old and a three-year-old she was like you don't look old enough to have a nine-year-old <laughs> i didn't even tell her how old i was either i was just like oh thank you um, but I know that I do look kind of like young in that type of aspect. Like you sometimes can't really tell, especially depending on what I have on. I could probably walk around here looking like a high schooler. Um, and also because I'm so small. So, um, uh, like why is Libre is something that I would never wear in uniform. Now, I'm in uniform most of the, the week, most of my life. So... I don't know, I just feel like if you wear a certain perfume, it has to go with what you look like and what you're dressed like. <laughs> All right, this is what the Elote look like. Oh, and I did get one last time we came, and it was good. It was really good. So this is what, oh, this is what it looked like right here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. What? god damn why did it do that i wonder what time sephora closes it's only 6 16 right now i'm gonna look it up before i go on Kohl's, because Kohl's probably stay open to at least eight mm -hmm. all right so now let's talk about montgomery where i'm at and why i don't like it look at this what the heck <laughs> let's talk about montgomery where i am right now montgomery alabama and why i don't like it so first of all I never wanted to come here for three months for this training. Um, I knew the training was long, but literally, like, the closer I got to leaving for tech school to cross train out of my my calm job, I was really like dreading leaving because I didn't want to leave my daughter, I didn't want to leave my son, I didn't want to leave my husband, I didn't want to leave my family for three months. Um, and part of the reason why I changed to this career field because I knew it was a career field that had a lower deployment rate. So I'm just saying that that's what it that's what it is. Um, Cause I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm kind of um, like I got PTSD from my last deployment, but nothing to do with like what happened while I was there. It was the separation piece um, and everything that was going on. So it was like tough, but. After I got here, <laughs> I immediately hated it. I was like, I don't like it here. I don't know who they hung from these trees. <laughs> Y'all, I was going crazy. Um, but that's also during the time when I got into like my spiritual stuff and I was like buying crystals and stuff like that. That was around the same time. Um, where I was just like kind of exploring stuff and I was reading about um, like Afri African religions and traditions and stuff like that and cultures. Um, I have a couple books on like Yemaya and stuff like that, but they're really small. They're like super thin, like 12 page little books that I got from that crystal store that we went to. Um, and that's when I kind of just started like reading into that stuff and hoodoo, voodoo, whatever, whatever, whatever just kind of learning about it because honestly that's the influence that I would have had if we wasn't all slaves but literally and then also when I came here last time I went to um I went to their little national museum I don't want to call it slave museum but it's literally about slaves like I don't know what it's actually called but it's literally about the Atlantic slave trade um so I went to that little museum it, it is small um and it's literally just like it's kind of depressing actually <laughs> and after that i went
went to the memorial where they have all those hanging columns of everybody that's been hung and their names and like years and stuff like that crazy um and it's like huge actually i should have some videos of it but yeah i went to that while i was here it didn't do nothing for me i just felt like sad and i wanted to leave even more because i didn't the crazy thing is i didn't feel like sad like I didn't feel sad. I just kind of felt like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why would y'all do this? Um, and then, yeah, like I, like I said, like, I don't, I just don't like it here. It's not my vibe. <laughs> and people cannot fucking drive here. Can't drive at all. All over the road. All in my lane. And this is where I messed up my windshield, too. So, um... It was actually the same year that I was thinking about getting rid of my car and getting another truck. Um, why? I was going to get something to eat. I was going by the base. And I was driving on like this little curve, turn, ramp, whatever. And I guess a rock from a raggedy ass 18 wheeler popped up and hit my windshield. And like now I got this little, this little circular crack on my windshield so that happened while i was here pissed me off <laughs> and the time that i spent here in class was not particularly great either <laughs> <sighs> that was good let's see i ain't gonna lie y'all i don't have nothing to talk about y'all <laughs> if there's something y'all want me to talk about in the future put it in the description box because i don't got nothing to talk about honestly I am gonna save this food though because I'm checking out tomorrow morning at like whatever time at like seven eight. Well, before yeah, well at seven yeah, cause we uh we don't start class until eight. Hopefully we finish early tomorrow around actually like around eleven thirty. Um, but it's supposed to go all the way up until at least twelve. But if we finish early, I'm getting straight on the road because I do not want to drive in the dark again like on the way here i left the house late i didn't leave the house at like two o'clock so i didn't get here till like 10. um and i had to drive in the dark for like two hours almost two and a half hours because it started getting dark at like seven um and then it got like completely dark around 7 30 7 40 and i was just driving in the dark and i'm so uncomfortable driving in the dark like you don't even know and that's not to say that I was driving slow. I was just really uncomfortable driving in the dark. So I um, <coughs> so I was always keeping up with another car. Be I don't know why. Like literally at some points we was going like 94 together. And then I would slow down because I was like maybe I'm getting on this person's nerves. Like maybe my headlights are in their side view mirror. But I would slow down to like 74. And they would slow down too. So I was like okay clearly we playing a game of tag. In the dark and we don't want to like leave each other on the road alone because don't nobody want to be on a dark two-lane highway alone because you don't know when the next car is coming even though there were cars it wasn't like a, it wasn't an empty highway it was actually decently busy all the way here not busy enough to where I had to like pass people or anything like that but it was it was busy that I felt safe because um, there was always a car in the vicinity um, <clears throat> but yeah um i don't like driving in the dark like i did not like it at all i was always i was sticking with that car i want to say we met up after i left the bucky's and um not like met up but <laughs> i want to say that's where we kind of start tagging is when i left the bucky's and i want to say i have like still had like a hundred something miles or like that at the bucky's so literally all the way there and then right when I was getting toward the exit, obviously I slowed down a little bit and they kind of just sped off um, and kept going. I don't know where the hell they was going. I was wondering all the time, you ever be driving and you be wondering where the hell everybody else going? Like, like, how was it that many people on that same route that I was on and where the hell was they going? 
Why was you driving through Tennessee, Kentucky? Why was you driving through Kentucky, Tennessee, and Alabama? Where is you headed? Why is you driving through Alabama on a on a Sunday night? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I know. Um, I think you can get down to like if you were to keep going. I mean, I guess there's other places outside of Alabama. I don't know what's underneath it. Isn't it Florida? Hmm. Anyway, oh, this is nice over here. Okay, they got a Dillard's. Wear Jewelers. Where's the big ass Sephora I saw? H&M. Oh, this is a little outside mall. What the hell is Mountain High? A Loft. White House. Black Black Market. Chico's. You know we don't shop at H&M ever since they put that little boy in that monkey shirt. <laughs> Men's Warehouse. Here we go. Sephora. Books a million. I ain't seen a books a million in a long time, actually. We see them uh, little nail spa. I got a nice little fountain. I wish I could show y'all, but I'm on my phone. Um, okay, Bath and Body Works, American Eagle. I do like um, American Eagle's jeans and the way that they fit on me, but oh, prime parking too. But they just like they don't. Like, I got a pair of white jeans um, from them, and then I had, like, a pair of, like, cargo pants, and them shits did not last. Those cargo pants look right as hell. My white jeans got stained. They're not even white. They're, like, a cream color. Those things got stained, but I don't know what the hell. Um, I don't really... They got a Lulu... Lulu lemon. Fru, fruta bowls. Buff City soap. What the freak? Where... And child, I'm in a mall. Anyway, let me go inside and support real quick, because I want some eye patches. I do not see these eye patches everybody's talking about. I don't see. I want eye patches, but I also want this Summer Fridays lip stuff. I've used this before, and it's actually really good. But let's get some lip. Vanilla. Vanilla beige. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what in the world? Alright, so we back in the car. I'm about to head back to base before it gets dark. <laughs> um, but basically I got I guess I only got three things. The book. I thought I got something else. I was looking at that summer summer Fridays um lip stuff, but I put it on and honestly I don't like it as much as I like the um what's that other one called that I got? not from Laneige it's from I can't think of it anyway <laughs> I like it better but I got this clearing solution um, sheet mask from Dr. Jart I love Dr. Jart sheet masks they actually work really well um, so yeah I got this one it's a derm mask micro jet clearing solution that clears and soothes sensitive skin and yeah, after washing your face, even out the skin texture with toner, open the facial mask, and after removing the film from the mask, apply it to the face, leave it on for 10 to 20. I wanted some eye, like, patches, but I couldn't find something. I couldn't find anything I wanted. And then I got these Peace Out Dark Spots little things. So I got this for the dark spots on my face. Um, pretty much the ones on my chin down here. Cause these really be bugging me so i got that for this and then since i have this bump right here i know i'm gonna have a dark spot there eventually um but i really got it for my chin and then i probably use it for something like over here or something like that um but they're like micro needling dots six per pouch 12 dots gradually fade the appearance of dark spots when used twice weekly for two consecutive weeks i can do that Okay, and then I got these Peace Out Acne ones for these little bumps on my face. My forehead is kind of clearing up. I think it was my hat, but I'm just going to put it on these little spots on my face. But these are the um, the acne dots. And there are 20 in this, so there's two 10 dot pouches. I don't know, child. But yeah, so I'm about to go back to base. 
do some skincare, lay down. I never edited last night, like I said I was, so that didn't happen. Bye. Thanks for spending the day with me. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up my camera when I get there because I'm probably just gonna shower, hop in a bed, and watch TikToks. All oh, I was watching TikToks all night, y'all. I was screaming, holler. I know them people probably heard me and thought I was crazy, but it was funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go take a shower, put on some little dots or whatever, put a face mask on, or maybe put a face mask on and then put on the dots. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just lay down in the bed and watch TikToks all night and be laughing all crazy loud and cracking up. But the goal is to edit a video and get it done. So we'll see. Good morning. It's Friday. I'm going home today. Um, so I put on that um, Dr. Jart mask last night, that little cleansing mask or whatever. But then on top of the mask, I put on the dots. And at first, the dots weren't really sticking, probably because I had the mask on. But they eventually stuck. I left them on all night. I put them on at like 8.30, 8 o'clock. Um, and the only one that fell off was this one right here. And it has like a little bit of residue. At first I got scared because I was like, why is there a big ass black spot on my face now? But I'm pretty sure that's just the extra, yeah. And then these little acne dots. I guess you just use as needed. Ow, it's just a little harder to take off. Ah, what the fuck? Alright. <laughs> it did go down. Okay, they're not completely gone, but they have gone down. I can just barely see the dots. So that's exciting. All right, well, now I'm gonna, um, I gotta wash my face, brush my teeth, do the whole jazz. Yes, I didn't brush my teeth yet. I'm about to do the whole jazz because it's already like 6.40 and I wanna check out before I, uh, before I get dressed. So I have to pack up the rest of my things, but before I do that, I wanna just, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, maybe do my hair, and then throw on some sweatpants and run downstairs or, or some shorts or something and run out to check out and then come back. Oh, they are gone. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so this is what the skin is skinning like. We look good. Okay, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so right now I just packed up everything and I just put on my uniform. That way I didn't have to come back up here to change. So it's 712 now, so I still have time. I'm gonna take some of my bags down. Um the majority of my bags, as many bags as I can. I'm gonna take these down. Um, go check out. Well, I'm gonna take these down, I'm gonna come back up, grab another bag because I think I'm gonna come back and get my food in my purse. And I'm just gonna take my my duffel bag, um, my computer bag, which is this big thing right here with all my stuff in it. My um, tarot cards and my book and stuff that I didn't even use this week. But that, um, my two duffel bags, and probably my blanket. I'm gonna carry that down, then I'm gonna come back up, grab my food and my purse purse. This one right here, my work laptop and everything. And then I'm gonna go check out and then I'm gonna drive back over here this way to class. Um, I thought I was gonna have time to get gas, but I don't think I'm gonna have time anymore. But yeah, so basically that's what i'm about to do right now um i did decide to use up that perfume and just throw it out because since ever since i moved there's just been this feeling of like transition every time i let something go and move on to the next thing it doesn't feel it feels like a more cumulative transition for me now i don't know why i know it sounds weird but um i was like yeah i'm gonna just throw this perfume out instead of holding on to this last little bit just to use it all up it's done it's completed its thing it's I'm leaving this place here, so it only feels right to leave it here. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys probably once I hit the road because I'm about to go do all this other stuff, and I'm going straight to class, so I'll talk to you guys when I get in the car. All right. All right, y'all. So, um, I just got out of class. We got out at 12. It's 12.20 now, and I'm trying to get on this damn road. I stopped and I got my gas, you know, so I could fill up. Um, and then I got some Burger King because it was right there at the gas station and I got me some snacks or whatever. And, um, I put it in the GPS. Why did it say it's going to take me 8 hours and 40 minutes to get home? When it took me 8 hours to get to here. Like, I don't understand. So, I'm changing, I'm just changing my clothes right now. 
yeah so i'm just changing my clothes right now and taking my boots off really i'm just changing my um out of my work pants into let me make sure nothing in these pockets into these sweatpants that i put in the front seat um yesterday let me zoom up because why is y'all watching me <laughs> okay so i'm just changing my pants in the back of the BX parking lot because ain't nobody over here. Oh fuck, the police coming. Oh shit, bitch. Where's my pants? Hey, they driving away. They ain't looking. Um, and yeah, and then there's a gate over here, so I'm gonna just go out this gate right here to the side. But literally, I'm just changing my pants. I gotta find my Crocs though, because I don't know what I did when I pants i got a sweater up here with all my snacks my water and my bk got me some chicken fries and some onion rings um i'm about to put this thing in sport mode get the fuck up out of here <laughs> um no but for real i don't know why it's telling me that because now it's, it's projecting that i won't get home until nine and girl ain't nobody trying to be driving for an hour in the dark in rural Illinois so anyway she did not give me my onion rings I asked for spicy chicken fries and onion rings and they gave me french fries you raggedy you raggedy motherfuckers okay let me zoom out alright y'all so we about to get on this road I didn't know they had spicy ones Oh, they good. Mm hmm But why would you give me first fries? And not the onion rings I paid for. I'm gonna fit these fries right in this door like that. And I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later. Y'all, you can't make this shit up, right? So I'm driving. Um, I don't know how long I've been driving for. Maybe about 20, 30 minutes. Um and it's a big ass confederate flag on the side of the highway it's like gated too it's like it's almost like somebody bought the piece of land and then stuck the flag there off the highway i'm on the i-65 north coming from montgomery alabama going up toward you know through the state of alabama a big ass confederate flag and it's just there like just on the it's literally the highway is all trees right it's all trees and then you just have this like this gate with a big ass flagpole and a big ass confederate flag on it on the side of the highway that's why i don't like fucking being here like what are you talking about what is going on i don't i just stop I don't understand. I don't understand. The part of me that doesn't understand it is why it's up. And like, no, did nobody say anything? Did like you allow somebody to buy that piece of land as their personal property and so that they could do that? And there's no requirement that like, hey, we ain't going for that shit. Nothing. Like I but I mean, you can only expect so much when you're in Alabama. It's four o'clock now. Um, so technically I've been driving for three and a half hours because I want to say I left at like 12.30. Closer to 12.30 than 12. Um, so I'm outside of Nashville. So hopefully I can get there in another four and not, well, I guess three and a half. I don't think that's going to happen. Nashville is supposedly like four and a half hours away, but it's telling me that it's going to take forever to get there. I did run through some traffic right out here, right outside of Nashville before I got into it. So we're going to see how long it takes. I'll see y'all when I get home. Hi, guys. It's been a whole day. It's Saturday night right now, um, but I made it home. Clearly, I made it home around 840. Um because of that traffic that i hit in nashville i don't know if we talked about it but either way i hit traffic in nashville 
Um, so I made it home around 8.40, safe and sound. So that is the end of my one week travel vlog. Um, and yeah, now we're about to go downstairs in the basement because there's a tornado warning. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, share it with your people. Give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and leave me comments. Let's talk. Let's chat.